in this Into the Outdoors at Home edition. Climate change is an issue that affects us all. But did you know that countries and communities, big industries and local businesses, scientists and educators, people all around the world are working together to develop solutions to tackle climate change? And you can help. In fact, there are many ways that you and your family can make a difference. Together, we make a bigger impact. We can find the best path to solve this crisis. In this episode, we focus on solutions to the climate crisis. These are the offices of Slipstream, an organization whose mission is accelerating climate solutions for everyone. Diana and Greg both work with people and companies to help them make choices to ensure a cleaner future. What exactly do you mean by accelerating climate solutions for everyone? For me, accelerating climate solutions means marrying energy efficiency with clean energy resources and making sure that people today have the information to make informed decisions. Just what is causing the planet to heat up? Well, increasingly, it's carbon emissions in the atmosphere. And these carbon emissions are known with other greenhouse gases to trap the sun's solar rays, heating up the planet and causing the climate to change. I know burning fossil fuels is part of the problem, like automobile exhaust. Yes, that's true. And that's a great example of a solution that we've already developed, like these electric vehicles here. But it's not just cars. It's not just transportation. There's agriculture, there's shipping, there's the built environment. And by that I mean the houses and the places we live and work. We have a lot of solutions from reducing energy use through energy efficiency to marrying that with clean energy resources. Clean energy is clean, renewable power that doesn't generate carbon or waste. For example, the solar panels, hydroelectric power, wind turbines, and many more. I've heard of decarbonization. What exactly does that mean? So decarbonization is reducing the amount of carbon that's put into the atmosphere. And we can do that by cutting emissions or increasing carbon sinks and protecting the forest in those areas that actually absorb carbon from the atmosphere. A lot of companies, a lot of countries, have goals to reduce their carbon emissions to zero by 2050. What are some climate solutions that already exist? Well, first and foremost, it's investing in solar energy. The photovoltaic panels that you see on the building here, increasingly investing in that, because that is allowing us to provide clean energy to the grid. What exactly can I do? Well, the first thing you can do is simply use less energy. Turn lights off when you leave rooms, and also make sure that your video game systems are turned off when you're done with them. Check and see if your local utility company offers an energy efficiency kit that'll help you save energy at home with simple improvements that you can do yourself. We can encourage everyone to use clean, energy-efficient technologies like LED light bulbs, faucet aerators, high-efficiency shower heads, Energy Star appliances, electric lawnmowers that are quieter and less disruptive to the neighborhood, and many more. Let's talk about making bigger impacts. Did you know that we've developed more efficient ways to heat and cool our homes and buildings? Just like we've made significant improvements to make automobiles so that they rely less and less on fossil fuels and even run on clean electricity, we're making big improvements in how we are heating and cooling homes. The climate solution we're talking about is called a heat pump. You could think about them as the engine of your home. This is a centrally ducted air source heat pump. It's capable of heating our homes and cooling our homes. This replaces our furnace that runs off natural gas, propane, or fuel oil. What are the benefits of using air source heat pumps? Well, for one, air source heat pumps provide better comfort inside our homes. But when it's heating, it doesn't burn any fossil fuels on site. That means that the environment around the home is cleaner and safer. Are there any cost benefits? When we're cooling with these, these units are much more efficient and they cost less to operate. How does this offset fuel emissions? Fuel emissions are generated when we burn fossil fuels. This system runs on electricity and as we clean the electric grid with renewable resources like solar and wind energy, this unit doesn't really generate any emissions because we're not burning any fossil fuels. 
Is it difficult to replace my old system with a heat pump? Actually, no, it's as easy as changing out your air conditioner and furnace. Wow, I didn't even know this existed. Wouldn't it be great if all homes and buildings could use carbon-free technology? Yes, that would make a significant impact. It's important to make the right choices now to eliminate our need for fossil fuels and reduce CO2 emissions. Let's go check out another air source heat pump. You notice this looks a little different than what we saw before. Yeah, it does. This is an example of the outdoor unit for what we call a ductless air source heat pump. And these are really great when you're doing an addition or you're in an existing home and it's hard to get existing ductwork to where you need it. Can you tell me why these units are better than other heating and cooling systems? First of all, it's much easier to move heat than it is to make heat. Just like a air conditioner or a refrigerator, these use what's called a refrigerant. And it's that refrigeration cycle where you evaporate the refrigerant that draws energy from the environment, cooling the environment. Or when that refrigerant condenses into a liquid, it releases energy into the environment, heating the environment. And these units are up to 300% efficient. So for every unit of energy we put in, we can get three times that out in terms of usable heating or cooling for the house. So that's the first thing, very, very energy efficient. The second thing is they're safer, okay? With no combustion inside the house, we have no problem with carbon monoxide or particulates in the air, which we know can impact human health. This is the indoor unit that's paired to the outdoor unit we saw outside. And this is called a ceiling cassette. Then the air is drawn up through the center, and then depending on whether we're heating or cooling, the air is heated and distributed out the four sides. So how does this make a cleaner environment inside the home? Well, it has a, a filter built into it. And then, you know, these things run more continuously at low speed to provide even heating and cooling. And when we're doing that, we're continually filtering the air. So that's going to help with particulates and dust. The other thing is that continuous low runtime helps dehumidify the air, controlling the moisture in the air, making us more comfortable and again, more healthy indoor environment. Wow, I never knew about heat pumps. Thank you so much for sharing this new technology with me. Well, absolutely no problem, Zach. We really appreciate the time we spent together. And I want to remind you that the decisions we make today are going to have big impacts in the future. And again, that future is pretty bright. <laughs>